hello welcome back to my channel and um, my name is Ginger and if you are not already a subscriber be sure and hit that subscribe button and the little bell so that you get notifications uh, when I upload new content um, if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and um, leave me a comment um, this video is all about um, bows and embellishments and um, and I used some things. Um, this is a bead craft number two, project share number two. And um, I wanted to show you some embellishments that I made using the bows. I think I put bows on every one of my embellishments. Um, love this little variety pack of bows, super handy. Don't have to make them yourself, so that is wonderful. I also used some of this rabbit's fur. Um, I just used the fur. You'll see how I used it in one of my embellishments. I also used these um, lollipops with the bows on them um, to make some embellishments. And then I used also used these lollipops, the little um, long skinny ones, spiral ones, um, to on some of my embellishments. And then I also used the resin, um, the bigger bows. I thought they would be too big for my project, but they were just right. They were perfect. And then I also used this um, variety pack of blue um, jimmies. They're like little rhinestones. You have a lighter blue, kind of a turquoise blue. You have a darker, um, kind of an... Um, it's kind of, it changes colors. It's kind of a dark and light um, variation on it. You have a royal blue. You have a um, little darker turquoise blue. You have a light blue. And then a bright, bold turquoise, or um, royal blue. So I used those jimmies. First thing that I did was to make, um, with all the little bows, I put some bows onto the lollipops. Um, later, I will add an eye pin to these and use them as dangles on a little planner charm, or I will use these directly on a um, on an embellishment. Sometimes I do that as well. Um, here is another one with the purple striped lollipop, and then I used the purple. Um, polka dot bow super easy you just put a little glue on there and then I made one of the yellow ones and then lastly these lollipops all have a bow on it but to pop it up a little bit I put one of the fabric bows on it gives it a little dimension and a little flare um, so I added one to that one. Next, um, as fall is fast approaching, I wanted to make some fall embellishments up just so that I can have them to put on different projects. You can put these on a card. Um, you can put them on an ATC, a memory decks card, anything like that. Um, really any of your projects. So um, I just have a piece of chipboard um, and it, I added some decoupage leaves underneath. And then I added um, some of the chipboard leaves from some of the fall embellishment kits that I got last year. This one says, hello there fall. And then I added a um, cardstock um, harvest and I popped it up with um, tape. I put the resin bow on there. And even though the resin bow has a little kind of button embellishment on it, I added a fall heart to go with the project. And I have a piece of corn in the background and the little acorn. And you have a great little sturdy um, fall embellishment. The next one I made was this one. And again, it's just a chipboard piece with a scalloped edge. 
and it, it actually it looked like a um, postage stamp was just on there at first. I added these paper flowers, kind of popped them up a little bit, and then I added a, um, I put one in the background, a leaf in the background, and then a leaf underneath, a burgundy leaf underneath, and um, added the brad, put a couple of, I put a leaf over here with one of the lollipops on it, says what a blustery day and I added a kind of rustic tweed bow at the corner also I on this one added the um, blue jimmies instead of enamel dots which I kind of use sometimes I wanted to add a little sparkle with the jimmies so there is that cute embellishment and then last, um, I wanted this one to look kind of like a, um, kind of reminds me of a, um, oh, like a, a fall, like an apple orchard or a fall, um, you know, like a farmer's market. Um, I put, again, on the chipboard, I have a chipboard rectangle, rounded edges. I put a fall wreath around it, and it says autumn. I used a little tuft of the rabbit's hair, rabbit fur right there. I put a fodder shock on. Um, underneath my bow, I have one of the lollipops with the um, yellow bow, and I added a jimmy right there to the middle. There is a sunflower with a leaf that I kind of trained that leaf a little bit. And then I added the three apples um, these are all things that you would see like at a farmer's market in the fall. Um, and then I added the little um, blue jimmies. Plus I added the little brown fall um, bow at the top to, to go with the fall wreath. So those are my embellishments. I have a few made up now and um, they are all ready to go. You can send these as happy mail as they're, you know, just as they're on their own. Um, they're great little embellishments. I might put two-sided tape on the back so that they could peel it off and stick it on whatever project they wanted to. Um, we also have the little charms with the bows on them, the little lollipop charms. And these were all inspired by products that I received from Bead Park. Um, Bead Park has um, so much variety, um, quick shipping. They are, um, there are so many ideas and things that you can do with your um, items that you get. And there, if you, there's so many to choose. I have an ongoing list for um, Bead Park, just of things that I want to look for and, you know, kind of my shopping cart. Um, but these are my embellishments. And that is my Bead Park project share number two. Um, you all have a wonderful weekend. It is 520 in California. So, um, sure everybody is off work by now and um stay safe stay healthy and i'll be back soon with another crafty planner video